So what do we got here is um, one of my favorite pictures from uh, what we were able to do at the Vancouver Tool Library. This event is called City Commons, and it's an example to me of some of the amazing community projects that you can accomplish uh, when you bring community together and empower them uh, with tools, particularly some paint rollers and brushes. Now, this led me to um, lead a team of researchers to uncover what else can be shared in Vancouver through a project called the Sharing Project. And what we discovered um, was that people do share. Uh, they share a lot, uh, with about 80% of people saying they're active in borrowing and lending in some way. Um, and we found that people are interested in continuing to share. And we also found that about a third of Vancouverites are interested in sharing more with their peers. And that's a particularly profound um, insight as we look to see how we can grow the sharing economy. Uh, when recently we saw Fast Company posted an article that was called The Sharing Economy's Dead and We Killed It, and it talked about how uh, the peer-to-peer -peer sharing economy has not exploded as much as we thought and has met some hurdles along the way. And um, I wanted to take, to look at the different models that exist in the sharing economy and the peer-to-peer -peer, as well as peer-to-organization and to look at how these different models impact how we donate and use waste and the waste that gets created. So if we think about our communities um, in that small community radius and we understand that probably within that small radius we've got all the stuff we'll ever need to almost do any activity. Now, under the peer-to-peer -peer model, if we wanted to go out and share, uh, and we're looking at are we extending the life of the product, this underutilized good, and the, and the answer is yes, that we are taking this thing that's sitting in someone's garage and we're giving out to someone that's going to extend that life. In certain peer-to-organization models, we see that, um, such as the Vancouver Tool Library or various other lending libraries, we see that the community comes together to donate all of these underutilized tools. We want to extend the life of, this, of these products so they don't just become waste. And um, we see that, at, at a, for example, at the Tool Library, that 90% of all the tools in their inventory have been donated, which is an indication that the community will come out to build this common pool. In organizations where the, uh, they go out and they purchase a new product, such as some of the car sharing organizations, we're not actually utilizing that, uh, that, that underutilized asset in our community. We also need to look at um, the maintenance of some of the tools that we're using, or things that get donated, and how, are we, how do um, the products come back to us? And the peer-to-peer -peer market, we see that sometimes there, we saw in our research, there's reservations around sending stuff out. We don't know if it's going to come back well. We want to make sure it's durable. Uh, in examples like peer to organization, we see the organization handle a lot of that and make that ease of transition from donating to actually being able to go and use it. We also see that um, when it comes to uh, looking at how the product gets donated, extending its life, but also if we collectively decide how to move forward. So we want to move past the point of having everything in someone's home, and we're going to get there eventually. We're going to get to the point where we need to collectively decide what we need to own and how peer-to-peer -peer might handle that. Um, do they have that collective knowledge? It's a lot harder to grasp as we look at purchasing uh, new tools and assets to satisfy that demand versus an organization perspective where the tool library can go out and say we need to have this many hours of tools available and we're going to go purchase these products. And when they do that, they're purchasing a product that has a much longer life and usually it's built around quality um, and is a product that you can take apart. So these are how these different models compare and, and lay into um, how we handle our products as they're reused. Thanks. Thank you, Chris.